Hello, hi, welcome to my channel. Apa khabar? If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe down below. So today, I'm just gonna give some tips and some free resources every GP trainee should know. First, let's start with the app that is very useful to have on your phone. First, the PNF app. PNF app will be very useful to Google about medication, side effects, the dose. So make that a priority. Second app, micro guide app. This is an app about antibiotics and there's a guidelines. Uh, basically, if if you are in the hospital, then you can use the micro guide your hospital placement. There's also a guide for prescribing in the primary care. The third app is the induction app. This is an app where you can get all the phone numbers of the, for example, the microbiology lab, ECG. So you can just access the numbers on the app rather than waiting on the switchboard. The fourth app is a MediCalc or any medical calculator app calculating the chest pass score, QRIS score, well score. Easily get it on your phone. So it's very useful to have this app. The fifth app app is not necessarily medical related but it's very good to have which is called a blue light card which is discount card for um, doctors or working in the nhs and you will get a lot of discounts so actually this will save you a lot of money okay now let's go through all the other websites that is very useful to know first website is gp notebook it's a quick reference guide especially when you're doing clinics and you're not sure you can just have it open at background refer to it while you're consulting your patient i have been advised by all my supervisors to use this the second website is the cks nice website so this is kind of a guidelines for gps it's very clear i love reading it during my sd1 i actually use the website quite a lot i have a cks website open one page and gp notebook open one page what i did usually before i see a patient is uh, look at presenting complaint and then read about the CKS nice because it actually have a step-by-step -step what you should do why you should exclude all the red flags it's very clear the AKT you have to study from the CKS nice anyway according to the guidelines so good website to know about and also start using early in your GP training and then the other website is actually website focus for GP trainees which is a VTS website first most popular one is a Bradford VTS website I have been recommended highly by few people the other VTS website is a Pennine VTS VTS website. They have a lot of resources on the website. Large range of free videos and cases for CSC preparations. Another website that is useful to know is obviously patients.co.uk. There's a lot of leaflets that you can just give to patients at the end of consultation. There is also a section for healthcare professionals on the website itself. Another website that I found useful is also gptraining.info. This is actually a website set up by the eMedica. They have a lot of information about GP uh, pay scale training tips which i went to a few of the blogs on the website before entering my gp training but there's a few facebook groups as well for you to join which will be useful during gp training i find them useful as well uh, i'm currently gp training st2 uh, the first group is a gp training support uh, which is a amedica group i joined this group prior to entering my gp training i found a lot of people asking questions and getting the questions answered second group is aman aurora gp training support uh, which is a group by Dr. Aman Aurora. I also joined this group as well. I actually found both uh, of the Facebook groups are very helpful. I would advise you to join the groups because there's a lot of advice and support available on those groups. Third group is if you are thinking of going part-time in any part of your training. Uh, for example, I did full-time for my SD1 and then SD2 I went into part-time 80%. So another group that will be useful is the part-time doctors group. That's it basically. I hope that this video has been very useful for all of those GP trainees or even going into GP training because I feel that these resources has been very useful for me so I hope it will be useful for you too. Don't forget to subscribe down below and like my video and comment if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye.